Hey, what's up, stream? This is Musket here. Actually, I can change the commentary info, so... Nice, it already has my Twitter. My poor, unused Twitter. Alright, so I mean, this is pretty standard for winner's semis in... Um, SA right now. Like when we, in tournaments we're next throwing up is because, you know, first versus fourth. Um, I guess what changes is depends on whether um, Nick is going Marf or Puff. But, you know, he's sticking to Marf. This, I guess he wants to focus more on his mains right now in the lead up to SA's major coming up. Big cheese, I believe. Makes the start of December. More information coming soon. Should be a really good event. Um, yeah, I mean, Nick is definitely very favoured going. I mean, he's favoured against everyone in SA. Um, that said, historically, Kai has done better than most, I'd say, against Nick. So, especially against Nick's mark. Uh, so it should be good to see. If you could see um, whether Kai can pull the upset or not. Alright, we're going in. Oh, <laughs> just gets bullied to the corner and then just. Yeah, catches, catches his recovery with just a jab, and then once Falco's off stage like that, below ledge, it's just, it's a free edge guard. There's very, very little chance of Falco coming back from there. Even Fox, you can say. Fox can go a bit lower, and Fox has the flames that can potentially sub Marf up. Falco has nothing. Falco just kind of chills there for about, say, half a second and just hopes that Marf doesn't do anything. The Marf gets spooked by the scary fire that does not actually exist. And that's pretty much what... <laughs> yeah, this, this game's already looking pretty over, but... Kai, is he, he going to close this out? He really needs to close this out, or... Okay, okay. Well, but, well, you know, it's Falco. He can get some pretty crazy combos. <laughs> There's a chance. It's a very small chance, but there's a chance. Uh, so, like, the Marv just kind of, like, what happened there before was the Marv just up through um, Falco to platform, and usually Marv just spaces up here in a way that the um, sweets, uh, the tipper hits the sweet spot, but he's got the sour spot, so Falco kind of just EMCC or ACI down, and, but, you know, that was a um, pretty fast game one. We'll probably go into Dreamlight. Ah, oh, yeah, it's Winter Semi, so it is a best of five. So, I feel like, then again, some spaces go Yoshi uh, as their first choice against Marth, some go Dreamlight, but I think Kai generally prefers the space just to use his laser game. Plus, bigger stage, so he's not. Like, it takes a few more interactions to get bullied straight to the ledge, like, on off stage. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you know, sometimes it's. That's our B for the bird life. You know, for all the. All the times you see Mango popping off and hitting some crazy combos, sometimes he just gets grabbed at the ledge by Zane and dies at 12. Mango fans get a bit angry, but, you know, it is what it is. Really good, like, the fair covered the non short side B, and then the jab just afterwards to cover the short. I'm sure there's a spacing that you can get in between, but it's, it's tricky. Yeah, Nick must have a very good control. I actually, I think the only, how many people, I'm, I don't know anyone other than Sora that has like a NES model controller, but I'm sure there's others. Yeah. 
Oh, gets the triple. And, you know, this is looking pretty similar to game one. Um, okay, you know, same thing. He, it's even hard on Dreamline just because you're going to need a few... Yeah, Bit longer combo than to close out half stocks than to win on Battlefield. And, well, I wonder who got Yoshi's. I could definitely see a Yoshi's pick at this point, just because you know Battlefield and Dreamline don't seem to be working out. And no, straight back. All right. All right. Really, really good extension so far. He's just not letting Nick breathe at all. This is the part that a lot of species struggle with, and yeah, Kai did a really, uh, really good job just hitting the edge guard, just stand get up, and then just holding down afterwards to either CC or ACI down the map up beat, um, and it just down smash. Yeah, that was very smooth. Yeah, he's just, he's hitting it every time. I mean, I believe Moff can uh, can SDI in a tech, but it's pretty hard. Oh, oh, geez. Okay. I just kind of held down attack with that up air, which... It's a lot easier to get out of the up air if you're attacking it on top plat, just because on side plat's Marf can just kind of short hop up air and then just immediately land and go again, whereas... Oh. Good tech by Kai, but... Nick was smart enough to use that side B initially just to put him in a much worse position where if he didn't tech, then he just kind of... Like, if he did tech, he just kind of gets um, nothing off him. So, that was actually a pretty good dash attack there. Um, that guy did, just because he hit the laser, then he had some read that um, Nick was going to take laser and immediately move forward. So, and he didn't think, I guess he didn't think he had enough time to immediately dare or nair out of that laser. So, he just does a dash attack, catches Nick dashing forward, and yeah, opens him up. But then he sadly loses his off afterwards. But, you know, it's the interaction that matters. <laughs> Okay. Go, goes for the dare. Oh, works out in the end. Not sure if a dare would have been better, but it kills, it kills, you know. Oh, really? Really good shine pressure there. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about Emio. I was talking before about, yeah, next, you know, he's getting ready for Big Cheese, but yeah. Yeah, my MEO should be really good actually. It should be. It's got a really cool pop bonus. Um, should be a lot of really good players there. Should be really sick to watch. Uh, the other side of Winter Semis has already happened. I just played Rubik before. Um, so, what we're going to be doing basically after this set, we're going to catch up on some losers. And then we'll do. Uh, uh, yeah, do Winner's Finals on Clips. Damn, Nick, Nick, Nick looking a little bit impatient, but, you know. This, now, you know, <laughs> this is every species. Worst nightmare. They just... Off on FD, it's... 
you get grabbed, there's just kind of nowhere to go. If they're on point, if the map is on point. Um, you can actually do a decent bit with um, SDIing maps up there and yeah, up tilts and whatnot. But Ooh, that was actually really sick shine by Kai. Just gets the way that she was to shine just in time to punish the um, early Mafia. Oh, that's really bad DI. Happens sometimes. Sometimes you just... You don't expect the F smash and then you die at 60 and half still at 168 and you, you're an FD and you, it all feels all, all uphill. But kind of weaving in and around with Marv, just trying to desperately land a Nero there. Okay, well, you know. As you got the knockdown into a grab, and Nick just kind of um, trying to end it early, trying to get that yeah, down for a cheese. The like 17 to like 30s for Marth hitting the chain grab is actually really like the timing is actually super tight to get the pivot um, for just like DI straight up. But Nick closes it out 3 1. Um, up next will probably be. Uh, Catherine and Milo. Milo having switched back to Puff, so Catherine's definitely... Actually, I'm not sure if Catherine's going to be going Peach or she's going to be going um, Fox. She has been working on a Fox recently, but it isn't that great yet. I, 